What's going on, my fellow SaaSpreneurs? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. I'm really excited to do this video. This is part one of a free training series that I'm doing here on YouTube on how to build and grow a SaaS marketing agency um, because it is just it is an awesome, awesome business to, uh, to, to build. So um, <clears throat> in this particular video, we're going to kind of set the foundation. I'm going to talk about why and how to actually start your SaaS marketing agency. Uh, cover cover a couple of uh, different practical things that you can get started with, like pricing, pick a knit, uh, picking a niche, things like that. And uh, by the end of this video, you're going to see why this is such an awesome opportunity. Um, it's it's just been fantastic since I made the transition from my traditional marketing agency of doing you know one-on-one uh, -on -one work with clients and things like that, and then moving over to uh, uh, moving it over to uh, an actual SaaS marketing agency. It's made a really big difference. So make sure you stick to the end. Uh, my only ask is if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Also check out the links in the description. I'm gonna have a link to this entire playlist that uh, you'll be able to go through because uh, there's some really, really good stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about how to create the marketing assets that you need, uh, that you're going to need, uh, how to get clients, how to actually build your SaaS product, what to put in it, things like that. So uh, make sure you check out the entire training series. And uh, if you don't have Go High Level yet, or even if you do and you're going to upgrade to SaaS mode, um, please go through my affiliate link or let them know that I sent you if you find this video helpful, of course, uh, but it does really help support the channel. Um, there's a link in the description. You get a two week free trial to go high level. All right, let's rock, uh, rock and roll. First, let's talk about why even start a SaaS agency, okay? And uh, there's a number of different reasons why I really enjoy it. Uh, but one of the really attractive parts of having a SaaS marketing agency is it's a great business model for building and growing your monthly recurring revenue. So with traditional marketing agencies, and we'll, we'll compare the difference here uh, a little bit more in depth in a second, but with traditional marketing agencies, you're working one-on-one -on -one with clients and you're, you're typically charging a decent amount of money, thousand, two thousand bucks a month. I know people that charge ten thousand dollars a month and that's a good business model and uh, it's good to get started with. But there's a lot of churn. There's a lot of cancellation. You, you're not really uh, building a dependable and consistent monthly recurring revenue. You're just not. Uh, you're, you're constantly uh, getting new clients, losing new clients for whatever reason. There's multiple different factors for that. But it just uh, it's a lot of ups and downs with the traditional marketing agency. With SaaS, it's the complete opposite, right? And we'll get into uh, some details why in a minute. But um, also the other thing about a SaaS agency too is, and this kind of plays into a regular marketing agency as well, but typically there's uh, really low monthly expense, uh, expenses, especially when you're using something like Go High Level. Go High Level makes it incredibly easy to start and grow, build a SaaS marketing agency because uh, it's a, a it just has a fantastic white label program, gives you everything that you need, and uh, you can really run this business on a shoestring budget. It's awesome. Uh, it's also very easy to build your SaaS product and also all of the marketing assets that you're going to need, like your own website, funnel, things like that, email follow up, things like that, that uh, they, they make it really easy to build all of that stuff inside of Go High Level. So uh, it's really, truly a, a, an amazing piece of software. And uh, also the great thing about your SaaS agency is that you can sell it later on. And, and again, this is one of the differences between traditional marketing agencies and SaaS agencies is that because you have that consistent monthly recurring revenue in your SaaS agency, um, that's uh, it's, it becomes a business that you can sell later on if that's what you want to do. If that's your exit strategy, you want to sell it one day because there's actual dependable, consistent income that you can uh, that that kind of helps create the value uh, or determine the value of the agency. Versus if you have clients in your traditional marketing agency for a month or two, maybe three, and then they cancel, and now you have to keep getting new clients that's not consistent. That's not consistent income and revenue, and you're not going to be able to use that to sell your agency um, unless you build a massive, massive agency and you're, you're really good with those numbers. But it's not what this training, that's not who this training series is really for. Um, uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's move on. So um, that's, uh, those are the reasons why to start an agency, a uh, SaaS marketing agency. They're absolutely fantastic. Let's talk about really quick how to start one. It's actually really easy. <laughs> Uh, first, you want to sign up to go high level. Again, you get a two week free trial in the description. And once you do that and you upgrade to, uh, I think it's like agency pro plan. I, I don't remember, um, but whatever one gives you access to the SaaS mode, you're going to want to order the SaaS fast track program. It's only $100. It is awesome, guys. I, I was really, really glad that I that I ordered that because it, it, it gives you an awesome foundation on uh, what it takes to grow SaaS. Uh, a SaaS product, a SaaS agency, 
Uh, it's really, really good. You get uh, you get like this cool uh, packet, you know, a cool workbook that you get uh, that you can go through. It has some fantastic information on it or inside of it. And then you also uh, what you want to do, too, is uh, so I'm going to head over to go high level here really quick on your agency dashboard. You're going to have access to this right here. Uh, you click on university and this is something it's uh, included with the fast track program, I believe. Um, I actually I don't, I don't remember if it's with your uh, with the agency pro plan or not. Either way. Uh, you're going to get access to this. This is a fantastic training program and really gives you the foundation of, of what a SaaS agency is, what it takes to, to build a successful agency, things like that. So this is uh, this is just awesome training. Uh, there's 31 lessons here. It's done by um, by Paulson Thomas. He's just he's just fantastic. So uh, you definitely want to go through that as soon as you get started. And then from there, obviously, you're going to want to complete this training series because there's going to be some really good stuff we're talking about. Uh, pretty much everything that I'm doing in my SaaS agency right now to, to grow it, to get clients, to uh, keep clients, things like that. All right. So you're going to definitely want to make sure you complete this entire training series. All right. So that's how you get started. A couple of differences that we'll cover really quick here. Again, as I mentioned, traditional agencies tend to be higher ticket. You're going to be charging, you know, the thousand to two thousand dollars a month or whatever. I typically would charge twenty five hundred dollars to come in, create a campaign, manage it for 30 days. If they want to keep us on board after that. Great. You know, we could talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, talk about a monthly retainer. If not, that's fine either way. Right. And you're typically working one on one with your clients. However, as I mentioned, it tends to have a high churn rate. You don't get you, you just go through a lot of clients much more frequently. You know, they'll they'll stay with you for two, three months, maybe. And, you know, at the fifteen hundred two thousand dollar mark or whatnot. And unless you're getting a significant return on investment, a lot of people just end up canceling. Right. And it creates this constant uh, grind, this constant hamster wheel that you're on where you're getting clients, losing clients, getting new clients, losing clients, right? And it's just it's just very inconsistent income. You'll have a really good month one month, and then you can have a really, really bad month the next month if because uh, you just don't know when people are going to, you know, uh, to cancel. Uh, you just don't know when that's going to happen, right? So with SaaS, it's the complete opposite. Uh, part of that is because it's much more affordable. So instead of charging someone $2,000 a month to do what you do, you can now, you're now charging $200 a month. It's much more affordable. It's not uh, this, this huge high ticket item that people are worried about. Uh, and, and it causes anxiety to, you know, when it's come, like the, the payments coming up, right? So it's much more affordable, but it allows you, hold on, dogs barking in the background. It allows you to, uh, you're with SaaS, uh, you're still able to offer your clients almost the same exact thing. And, it, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, because when I so when I transitioned from doing my traditional agency, doing one on one client work to my SaaS agency, I realized, especially when you're using go high level, they give you all the tools that you need to pretty much do the same thing. Um, you can still obviously offer one on one services as a, as an upsell. That's great. But I found that I can give my clients pretty much everything that I would do for them anyways, uh, using a SaaS product. It's much more affordable for them. Right. And um, you, you're also able to serve a lot more clients uh, with, with SaaS that you're not working one on one. You know, you can basically the, the time it would take you to create a campaign for one client. You can do that for 50 clients at once with SaaS or, or however many. Right. So there's uh, there's some really, um, really big differences between traditional agencies and SaaS agencies. It's, and, and that's one of the reasons why I made the switch. It's just so much better. Um, I, I absolutely love it. Let's talk about the, the qualities of a SaaS agency owner. A little bit of mindset really quick, because this is important, at least for me, it is. Um, and I guess this, uh, this really applies to any type of business, any marketing agency, but you have to have a desire to really provide a lot of value to people, uh, as much of it as possible to get them the end result that you're promising and really help them achieve their goals in their business. If you can, if you can have that at the forefront of your mind, of your mindset, the entire time, you're going to end up creating a fantastic SaaS product for your industry. And it's going to do really, really well. So uh, for me, the, the mindset is really, really important because it kind of drives what you're creating with your SaaS product and, and who you're bringing on board. Uh, being creative and innovative, uh, you know, just some kind of generic stuff, but it really does make a difference when you, you've you built your SaaS product and, you know, now you're thinking about ways like, okay, what else can I add? Because again, you're, you're that mindset of trying to provide as much value as possible. You want to keep adding to your SaaS product, making it that much better uh, as much as you can. And uh, asking yourself like, okay, what else can I put in my SaaS product 
that uh, will help my clients that much more, solve even more problems or make it easier for them, whatever, right? So being creative, innovative, very important, great problem solver and being patient, a uh, couple of reasons. <laughs> this is tech, we're, we're dealing with technology guys, as amazing as Go High Level is, it's technology, things break sometimes, right? So you have to be patient with that and uh, also be a great problem solver. So when something does go wrong, uh, are you just going to sit there and whine and complain about it? Or are you going to try to find a way to solve that problem? Because problems are going to come up and you need to be able to solve those problems and, uh, and move past it. All right. So really important. All right. Let's get into some more of the, uh, the practical side of things here. And uh, the first one is picking a niche. This is really important, guys. I never recommend uh, in any business doing just just going after the broad general market of you know in your industry right you want to narrow down who your audience is this is really important you're going to do so much better it's going to be a lot more impactful and to give you an example my SaaS product it's called elite broker and it's built specifically for the business loan industry it does not serve any other uh, other industry it doesn't make sense for any other type of business owner to get elite broker other than business uh, people in the business loan space, all right? And that makes it much more impactful uh, because you're able to speak the language of your audience. You're able to solve very, very specific problems for that industry, and it just always does better. It goes back to that kind of cliche uh, example of you know general surgeons versus you know uh, brain surgeons, you know things like that, right? Uh, brain surgeons uh, or what do they call them? Whatever. <laughs> they make a lot more money because they're specialized versus um, versus the general surgeon or whatever, uh, general doctor, whatever. I don't care. Anyways, uh, so what industry do you have experience in or at least a decent amount of interest in? Um, you don't even you don't have to have experience in a specific industry. I don't have a, a experience being a business loan broker. I've been doing the marketing for the business loan space for a long time. So it made sense for me to build a SaaS product, like pick that niche and build my SaaS product for it because I have experience doing the marketing and stuff, but you don't have to have that. It just have at least a decent amount of interest so that uh, you, you stick with it, right? Uh, it, you need to have some fun with this, right? Uh, you don't need to be like massively passionate about it or anything like that, but it needs to hold your interest, right? And, um, you know, cause that way you're gonna, you're gonna end up learning a lot more about the industry. You're gonna take it more serious, et cetera. Is there a need for software in that industry? Most industries, uh, I only bring this up because um, like if, if you have like a really, really sub niche that uh, is, is really small or whatnot, I mean, do they need software? You just need to ask yourself that, uh, most industries that you're going to go after, you know, like your dentist, your plumbers, your HVAC people, uh, HVAC contractors, chiropractors, things like that. Most of them need some marketing software to get more clients, convert more clients, book more appointments, uh, appointments, et cetera. So you're usually okay with that. And then also you can ask yourself how big is the market? It doesn't have to be massive. Uh, it just needs to be big enough to have, are there a decent number of people to sell your product to? That's it. Okay. All right. Let's talk about creating an offer here. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to do an entire training or I'm going to do an entire video in this training series on creating a really good SaaS product, but let's kind of touch on it a little bit here. And that's, uh, so creating your offer, it really comes down to knowing your audience and what their biggest problems are. You don't want to put something generic together. Um, I mean, you can get started with like chat widgets, uh, or for like, uh, for websites, you know, Google, my business messaging, reputation management, things like that. That's fine. But at the end of the day, you want to start narrowing it down. Uh, well, getting more specific with like, what are their, like knowing exactly what their problems are and solving those exact problems. Okay. Um, and, and don't just stop at one, you know, it just, like I said, keep making it better and better and better. And this comes down to knowing your audience and what their problems are. All right. Um, you definitely want to make it hard to cancel again, doing more than just kind of the basic stuff. Like, uh, for example, I give my clients, uh, funnels, like pre a bunch of pre-made funnels already customized to their business. Um, that kind of stuff is really hard to let go. A, a lead management pipeline, uh, automated email follow-up campaigns, things like this that you, you really go above and beyond and and uh, make it really hard to cancel because that's such an important part of their business, right? Uh, it's really going to reduce your churn rate, reduce your cancellations, and help you build up that monthly recurring revenue. Give clients everything that they need. Uh, again, just kind of expanding on that, adding the funnels, the follow-ups. I have... Um, uh, monthly social media posts that I give to my clients. I'm going to be doing done for you Facebook ads really soon. Uh, just give them everything that they need and they're going to stay. 
uh, provides step-by-step -step video training. Uh, so your Go High Level makes it really easy to create a members area where you can add uh, training videos on how to use the software, but also you can teach them uh, some, some really cool stuff that they can use in their business and implement. For example, I teach my clients how to implement a Facebook group prospecting strategy that will uh, help them generate more leads for their business, get more people into the software for them, right? So doing something like that, it makes your offer uh, in your product that much better. And then also offering some kind of bonus. I have a couple of these. Uh, one is the monthly social media posts. It doesn't take me that long to do, but it's, it has really high impact because these are things that they can just log into the members area, download them, post them on their social media profiles, and it helps. It can help generate more leads, right? That's a bonus that they get on top of their uh, their monthly subscription with my SaaS product, right? So just things like that. What are some extra cool things that you can add on to your offer that don't cost you a lot of time or money, but have really high impact? That's something that you want to think about, all right? And then from there, uh, we can talk about pricing here really quick. Uh, when you go through the uh, the fast track university, uh, the, the SAS university, um, Paulson talks a lot more about, uh, you know, pricing your, your SAS product. I'm just going to share what I do. So I charge two ninety seven a month with a $99 sign up fee. The, tr the, the standard that I've seen thus far is like two ninety seven a month and a two ninety seven dollars sign up fee, but those are typically the agencies that are doing one-on-one -on -one demo calls and you're closing over the phone and things like that. I don't do that. I'm going to get into my funnel process and my demo process, all of that, uh, all of that later on in this training series. But um, right now, uh, I only charge one ninety seven a month. It's a promo that I'm doing, and it's, I mean, it works really well. And uh, think about this, guys: is you know, if you have a a, a nine to five job, for example, let's say you make four thousand dollars a month, for example, okay, uh, you only at one ninety seven a month, you only need roughly about. 21 clients, 20, 21 clients, like if, if 21, if we're being technical, um, and that's it. And you've just replaced your, your entire uh, job income, your, your, your salary, uh, and offering a software that's going to help business owners grow their business, get more clients for 197 a month. That's a pretty easy sell. It's uh, way easier than trying to offer $2,000 a month marketing services. I'll tell you that. And, uh, and then I'm also going to be, uh, there's some really good upsells that you guys can do as well. I'm going to be offering monthly done for you Facebook ads that my clients are going to be able to go into the members area, download the images or videos, uh, get the, uh, get the ad copy and all the targeting. They simply just put that into their ads manager and boom, they're good to go. And I could charge 97 bucks a month for that, which is insane. I mean, you're talking about a service that is usually 1500, a thousand to 2000, $3,000 a month. They're going to be able to get it for $97 a month. And I can do that because I, I have a SaaS product now. I, I, I'm not working, <clears throat> excuse me, one-on-one -on -one with clients, but I can still provide very, very close to the same exact service other than me actually putting it in their ads manager uh, myself. They're going to do that part, but I've done all of the hard work for them. Right. So it's extremely affordable for my clients. It's great for me because now that creates additional monthly recurring revenue. It's a win win for everybody. That's why a SaaS agency is just so much better, in my opinion. So anyways, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I don't want this to be too, too long. I just wanted to kind of set the foundation, show you, uh, you know, some basic things, how and why to start a marketing agency. And um, yeah, in the next few videos, we're going to get into more of the practical stuff on actually creating your product. Uh, I've, I've got some great strategies on how to uh, get SaaS clients, uh, how to do your prospecting, things that are working really well for me. I'm going to show you the exact funnel that I'm using, all of my follow-up, everything. So make sure you check out this entire training series because I got some really good stuff for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Please smash that like button. If it was, leave a comment down below with your feedback. Tell me what you guys think or if you have any questions. I'm happy to create additional videos. Uh, and add them to this training series if necessary. Uh, but either way, really appreciate your time, guys. Hope you're crushing it, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.